If you tried out Excel for web a few years ago, you may have realized that it's not that great and you dismissed it. Well, it's improved a lot. There's still a lot of things that need to be added for me to want to use it on a regular basis, and I'll flag those things that need to be added, but there's some cool features that you need to know about, and it does have its use cases. So let's go. So one of the nice new features that I like is the track changes. This is pretty interesting because you can track the last um, 60 days worth of changes that you or colleagues have made. Um, so let me show you. Under here, under review, we go to show changes and it lists the changes that happened. So here I typed something and it's jumped to this cell. Then I typed something in here and it's jumped to this cell. Then I changed this, and these are the words I typed, change this, and then change this. See, it says then change this. So you can actually see a history of what's happened. And you can filter, so I can highlight a little range, or actually I can click on this filter first and say range, and then select the range that you want to check on and go to it. And this list is now only showing the changes that I made. Pretty nifty, okay? So 60 days worth of changes. And if you want to go further back than that, you could actually just um, pop up a previous version. So that brings us on to version history. So under the save dropdown, you've got version history. So if I click on version history, I get a list of all the files that have been auto-saved after all the changes. And I can click on it and restore one. So I can click on one from a year ago, um, potentially, and see the changes within that document. Okay, another important little point. Under File, under Options, Regional Format Settings. Okay, If you want to get your dates to format properly in Excel Online, maybe they're displaying in US format and you want them to display differently, then this is the option for you and you pick your regional format. Okay, also under File, under Info, Reset the Changes pane. That gets rid of this pane on the side and clears out all the changes. So if you have made some changes and you want to get rid of them, you can do that. And again, here's the version history option. Okay. Let's have a look at a few other things. Data validation, searchable data validation. And this is only available in Excel for web, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to turn this into a table. Now, my favorite shortcut, Control T for table, does not work in the browser. Unfortunately, it forces a new tab when you're in a browser, Control T. So the old shortcut was Control L for list. So Control L, my table has headers, click OK, and here we go. And I'll give this a name, um, DD list. Okay, so you can do all those sorts of things, which is all quite nice. Uh, no option to insert a slicer yet, which you can do in desktop. Right, so over here, I'll go data, data validation, allow a list. And for my source, I'll just highlight this little lot and click OK. And the great thing about this little box is if I start typing in rugby, so RU, there you go, all the things with RU in them. And there we go, rugby union. So a searchable list that does not exist in desktop yet, okay? Or if I type in football, F-O-O, -O, there we go. Okay, so all good searchable drop-down lists. Another useful feature that's also in desktop now, as long as you're on OneDrive at the same time, as long as you're sort of auto-saving, is Sheet View. So if I come in here and I go to View and I add a new view, so the, it all goes sort of dark black to so say this is my view, I can now do a filter in here and it won't affect anybody else who's looking at the report. So for example, if I bring up this little one, so here's my desktop view or just in another online view, doesn't really matter. But in this screen, if I change this to say, you know, just give me insert from Power BI dataset. But if I, in this view, it hasn't changed. So I'm still seeing the whole thing, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that's sheet view, and you can go exit, 
you can save that name if that's an important sort of view to you but you can say don't keep and there's a few other options under here excellent okay a couple of other ones shortcuts um, so keyboard shortcuts under the help menu there's a keyboard shortcut list you can search for you know next page or next here we go so if you want to actually jump through your pages like control page down control page up well you actually use control alt page down so here's some you know there's a few little keyboard shortcuts listed here for the web version okay unhiding multiple sheets again available in desktop but if you do hide a couple of sheets okay so you hide those two hide them you can right click unhide and you can tick two of them click OK and both unhide which is pretty cool insert from Power BI dataset I've done a whole video on that I'll get it to pop up here but you can go insert pivot table from Power BI dataset and refreshable editable Power BI linked Power Pivot table type things again I've done a little video link will pop up so those are all good all good right and it's really much quicker now the scrolling works beautifully scrolling part way across a column works so it doesn't always auto snap if you're in a really wide column you can scroll part way across so lots of good stuff but still not enough to get me to jump to it on a regular basis because number one there is no power query okay game check game, game over for me there's no other unless power queries available i'm not going to start using it on a regular basis auto save being on you can't not save what you're doing so everything is saved all the time again i dislike that sometimes when i come in play about with a spreadsheet close it without saving it you can't do it okay uh, limited table intellisense now i'm a massive fan of tables so let me just show you what i mean by this let me just narrow this back down okay if i want to sum up equals sum this column here what i would normally do is hover my mouse over the top in Excel desktop and a little arrow would appear, click on it, highlight the column. Okay, not to worry, I'll do my other way. Click in a cell, control space bar, that highlights the column. But look, just put the cell reference, doesn't put the proper table name in there, which I just don't like. And that's the same, even if you highlight the whole thing, it should put the table name in, okay? Um, you can start typing this stuff out, table, good, stuff but again IntelliSense doesn't recognize then it recognizes once you finally type the whole thing in square bracket number close the square bracket you know it works so the formulas would work but the IntelliSense isn't there so I don't like that um you are oh, moving and copying files you know this isn't an excel thing as such but it's just the whole SharePoint OneDrive thing if I want to copy and paste this file to a different folder, it's a horrible experience. You know, you've got to come here, click on this little move, and then jump through a whole bunch of hoops. It's it's not great. It's not as nice as um, Windows Explorer. Uh, you can't create named ranges. So if we wanted to highlight that and call this my list, named ranges not available yet. Okay, so again, I use named ranges quite a lot. So that's a bit of a game uh, showstopper. Uh, the ribbon is not customizable. You know, there's no right click, add new ribbon or anything like that. I use that a lot. No quick access toolbar. I use that a lot. You can't set up your own template file that auto loads. Again, something I use a lot. And, you know, no center across selection. We all hate merge. Merging is a terrible thing. But with Excel desktop, you can at least right click center across selection. But right click. So you can go right click format cells center across selection uh, there is no format cells option um, in the online version so those things until they're fixed i'm still going to always end up being a desktop um, primary user but a lot of good stuff is happening in in the browser version and ultimately it will end up being as good as desktop probably so i hope you find that useful i hope there's a few tips Please subscribe, let people know about the channel, um, and we'll catch you later.